The microbiome uh, is not a small part of our body. It constitutes uh, three to four pounds of organisms that live in our intestinal tract, and they are uh, actually playing a role in uh, both the digestion of our food and the signaling to our immune system. We're starting to understand actually how the microbiome is a personal attribute to an individual's health, and it's unique to their specific personality, and when I say personality, I mean their particular health situation. What we learned is that our gut health, when we force it into an endotoxic situation, directly affects our brain. Two-thirds of the body's serotonin is, is produced by our gut microbiome. One-third is produced in our brain. So maintenance of the gut mucosal uh, layers, mucus one, mucus two layers, and the mucosal cell lining then prevents leaky gut, which then prevents dysbiosis, and stress unfortunately causes a breakdown of that system. So stress management, stress uh, control becomes an important part of rebuilding our mucosal barrier defense. We're now starting to recognize that sour and bitter tastes are actually very important things to stimulate because they then activate our body's immune system and our hormonal system in such a way as to regulate how we then respond to our diet. There are certain foods that can actually improve your body's ability to metabolize fat. And there are other foods that cause your body to store fat. I think we're just crossing that threshold right now where this information can really be personalized in a way that's gonna be meaningful for the person and producing outcomes of extraordinary improvement in their health.